What's up my stat stars? In this video, we're gonna teach you how to use your calculator to perform a two sample Z test for the difference between two population proportions. Definitely gonna come in handy on the multiple choice and on FRQ to help you do the work as well. But let's not forget the four steps to conduct a two sample Z test. First, you have to name the test, so important, and you gotta give those hypotheses. Two, you gotta check all the conditions necessary. Three, you gotta do the work. This is test, this is finding your test statistic and your p-value, but that's exactly what I'm gonna show you the calculator could do for you. And then fourth, you gotta make sure to make your conclusion based on that p-value compared to your significance level. All right, here's the problem I wanna do in this video. For a long time, scientists have believed that the proportion of diseased coral reef in the Pacific Ocean is equal to the proportion of diseased coral reef in the Atlantic Ocean. Jake, a marine biologist, believes that there is a difference between the proportion of diseased coral reef in the Atlantic Ocean versus the Pacific Ocean. So to try to prove this, he selects a random sample from each ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, he gets 320 coral reef, 48 are diseased. And in the Atlantic Ocean, 20, 280 coral reef, he gets in his sample, and 52 are diseased. Now, does this show evidence that he's right and that there is a significant difference between the proportion in each ocean that are diseased? Well, if we look at the sample from the Atlantic Ocean, it was 52 out of 280. That's about 18.6% that were diseased. And the Pacific Ocean, in his sample proportion, he got 48 out of 320. It's about 15%. So we did see a sample difference of 3.6%. So the Atlantic Ocean was 3.6% higher. But is that just because of, well, hey, samples are going to vary? Or is that because there is, in fact, a difference? That's why we got to do the test. So step one, you got to name the test. This is a two-sample Z-test for the difference in the proportion of diseased coral reef in the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. The null hypothesis is always that those two population proportions are the same. They are not different whatsoever. They are equal. Proportion from the Pacific, proportion from the Atlantic, the same. And the alternative is either less than, greater than, or not equal to, but he specifically just said greater, or not equal to, excuse me, he just wanted to know, is there a difference? Never said Pacific was higher or lower or anything like that. All right, step two is the real boring part. We got to check all those conditions, but it's a really important part, especially on an FRQ. On a multiple choice, you might not have to worry about it, but again, on FRQ, you got to check all those conditions. So, you know, please, I'm not going to go over them all. It's not the point of this video, but feel free to pause and look at them. Now, step three is where we're going to have to calculate and do all of our work. Now, here's me doing all the work by hand. I got the 3.6% difference between my two samples. I got my Z-score. That's my test statistic. And I got my P-value. But most kids don't want to do all that work by hand. They want to use the calculator to do it. So let me show you. First thing we're going to do is hit stat, slide over to test, and we have to find two sample Z-tests for proportions. Two proportions. So be careful because sometimes you'll choose number three, but that's for means. We'll talk about that in a later video. We we'll definitely want to select number six here, the two for two samples, and this is a proportion-based problem for the Z-test. Now, it's going to ask you for a couple simple things. It's going to ask you for the successes for your first sample and the successes for your second sample, and that's pretty much it. Now, they're going to generically call it one and two. We know that one is going to be the Atlantic Ocean. At least that's how I'm going to put it in. So in the Atlantic Ocean, there were 52 successfully diseased coral reef. I know that doesn't sound good. And there is a sample size of 280. Now, they don't want sample proportions. So please, if you got 18.6%, you can't type that in. What you would then need to do is take the 18.6%, multiply that by your sample size to get the number of successes, or in this case, disease coral reef. And if you ever get a decimal, just round to the nearest whole number. Now, in the second sample from the Pacific Ocean, we had 48 diseased coral reef out of our sample of 320. All right, double check you got all those numbers in right. Now for the alternative. Do we think one is not equal to two? Do we think one is less than two? Or do we think one is greater than two? So again, you got to read the problem. In this specific problem, we were looking at not equal to. So I'm going to select the not equal to. We didn't necessarily care who's higher or who's lower. You know, the, the marine biologist in this problem just thinks that there is, in fact, a difference. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Hit calculate. It's going to do all of the work for you. Notice it gets a Z-score, very similar to what I got, 1.17. And it also got a P-value, very similar to what I got. The P-value there is 0.24. Now, in this situation, that P-value should be doubled. But they do the doubling for you, so you don't have to double it. Again, the calculator does all the work for you. Another big concern kids have here is, aren't I supposed to use standard error combined to get my standard error? Yes, you are supposed to combine it. But the calculator knows that and does it all for you. So the calculator does everything perfect. What you need to put on your paper is the test statistic, 1.171, 
and the appropriate p-value, 0.242. But again, they already doubled it. You do not need to double it because we chose the not equal to option. It got doubled. Now, you may say, well, those are a little bit different than the numbers you got. That's because the calculator doesn't do any rounding. It keeps everything 100% perfect. All you have to focus on is using that p-value of 0.24 to make an appropriate conclusion. And this is where I will fail to reject the null. That p-value is way too much bigger than any significance level, either 0.01 or 0.05. So there is not enough significant evidence to say that there is a difference between the proportion of diseased coral reef in the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. Why did we see a difference of 3.6%? Well, you know what? It's probably because just samples vary. But I really want to emphasize again, my calculator got a p-value of 0.24. 241. On my screen here, I'm showing a p-value of 0.2396. The calculator is way more accurate. They don't do any rounding, so there might be a little difference between what you'd get by hand and what the calculator is going to get, but go with the calculator. It's going to be way more accurate. So either way, it's going to be close enough that you're going to have the same conclusion. In this case, fail to reject them all.